Hello everyone, Amanda here, Teen Services Librarian at Herrick District Library, and today I'm showing you how to make a DIY mini cactus from our Take and Make. Your kit will have everything you need included in it, and from home you're going to need a pair of scissors and something to trace with. Our first step is to cut out our stencils. Once you're done cutting, you're going to want to trace your stencil onto a piece of felt. You can trace it twice or you can fold your felt in half and only trace once and cut once. We're also going to want to trace our cactus bottom piece. Because my cactus arm was pretty close to the edge, I decided to go ahead and fold my felt piece in half and then cut from there. And don't forget to cut the bottom cactus piece. Before getting started with the sewing, I'm going to flip over my pieces so that none of the black shows from where I traced. And we're gonna work on the eyes and the face first before we actually sew around the cactus. So you have a choice here. You can take your Sharpie and draw your own eyes and a mouth on or you can sew your own eyes and sew a mouth on. Just to show you both, I'm gonna do the Sharpie on the back end, and this will kind of line up for my front when I go to sew the eyes and the mouth on. So taking a piece of the black felt, I am going to cut out two eyes. And you can make these as big or as small as you want to. Now that we've got our eyes cut out, we are ready to sew them on. So grab your white thread, go ahead and put a knot in the bottom, and we're going to thread our needle. Once your needle is threaded, we're going to go from behind the cactus. As you can see, I kind of measured it up with the eye that I drew on the back. And we're going to pull the white thread through. Mine was a little tricky, so yours might be too. And we're just going to do a single tiny little stitch, like that. And then we're going to line up our next one and do the same. So as you can see, I didn't um, unthread my needle and tie off. Instead, we're just going to do both right at the same time. Like so. Okay, now that both of our eyes are on, we are going to tie off. I'm gonna slide my needle underneath one of the stitches, it makes a loop, and we're gonna pull our thread and needle through that loop. It makes a perfect little knot. Don't forget to trim any excess thread and go ahead and grab some black thread because now we're going to make the mouth. Just like before, we're going to put a knot in the bottom of our thread and we're going to then thread our needle. And again, I'm gonna use the back as a guide and we're gonna start up at the top towards his eye and we're gonna go down and then we're gonna do the same on the other side. We're gonna start up towards the top by his eye up there. And we're gonna insert our needle as close as possible. Oops, I lost my thread. <laughs> but we're gonna insert our needle as close as possible to the bottom side. Okay, because I lost video, <laughs> as you can see, I have done the whip stitch around my entire cactus all the way up to the bottom part of this point. Here I am tying off, doing my last stitch, making a loop, just like we did for the eyes, pulling my thread through and tying it off. I'm actually gonna do this twice. Instructions for the whip stitch are in the instruction packet that was sent with you. But it's really easy. You're just gonna pull your needle through both pieces of fabric, whip it around, and go all the way to the back again and pull your needle all the way back through. So it creates this everlasting kind of loop look. So I am doing two tie-offs, it's just in case. 
And then from here, we're gonna do our polyfill and fill up our little cactus guy. So go ahead and grab your polyfill and uh, you can use your finger to kind of just push it all in and get it into the little crevices and arms. And sometimes using a pen or a pencil is also really helpful to do that. And once it's filled to your liking, we'll move on to the next step. All right, this next step, we are going to take our cactus bottom and we're going to sew it on using the whip stitch to our cactus. Now it makes it look like it's too big for your cactus, but it's actually not. You're gonna have to kind of stretch the felt around to make it fit because the whole purpose is, is we want to make it so that our cactus kind of lays flat. You can stand up on the ground. So I'm gonna start in a corner. I've already tied my, my thread and we're gonna do the whip stitch. Doing the whip stitch, you are going to go through the cactus bottom and the cactus edge of the actual bottom, as you can kind of see here. There you go. Sewing the two pieces together. And when you do a whip stitch, you always start from the same side. So it's not an in and out, in and out. It's just a in and around action more so. And we're gonna go all the way around. I did find too that kind of pinching the two pieces of fabric together really helped. And now we are pretty much done. I only have a little bit left as you can see right here. And we'll finish them up. And then see, he can stand up all on his own. <laughs> and from here, you can take some of your pink felt and cut out your uh, stencil for the flower and then just do a simple stitch and uh, tie that flower right onto your cactus. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our terracotta pot and you can decorate it with a Sharpie marker, you can paint it, you could do whatever you like. I'm just gonna write the word cactus, because why not? It's supposed to be cactus. And then we're gonna take our stones and fill our terracotta pot up halfway, add our little cactus in, fill stones around as you like, till you get them positioned just so. And that's it. Thanks so much for making a little mini cactus along with me. And don't forget to check out our website for more Take and Makes happening this summer.